Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. Today, I want to do a little quick video on how to attach the M1944 uh, suspenders, however this is the second pattern, to the M1945 combat field pack. Like I said, I have a video on attaching the first uh, or early pattern suspenders to the 44 pack. This video will be virtually pretty much identical other than just the last little bit, okay? So basically, we have a pair of 1951 dated suspenders, combat suspenders. We have a 1951 dated combat fill pack. So turn the combat fill pack face down like that. Take the combat suspenders. Make sure you have the right orientation, okay? Right here. These are gonna go like right there, okay? Turn this down like this, turn this like this. The first thing I like to do is undo this buckle and strap right here. Now this is a retaining strap that goes right through here. Now I normally just put them on the middle, the, the middle setting here, okay? So this is gonna go right through like here, okay? We're gonna pull that through. And then we're gonna go through here. And what this does is it, oh, uh oh, there went my old band-aid, sorry. And then go through the same loop over here. Now you can choose to use the first, second, or third loop. I just go with the middle because that's just how I've always done it and that fits best for me, okay? You pull it tight and then you go back under here again pull that tight then you go back through your buckle okay and then you cinch it down tight okay now if you can see these are attached right there be sure you run this back under here and back under here it's designed to hold the backpack the suspenders close to the pack okay now right here comes the hard part now, some of these don't ever want to hardly go. You take this strap and you go right through this buckle. And I usually start them at an angle. It's going to be kind of hard with my sore thumb. But there you go. You get that in there. See that? They are very vicious to get in there. And uh, I don't know why, why they're so vicious. This particular pair is pretty tough. So I brought some pliers i hate to do that because it scratched it up a little bit but it is what it is okay then you pull that through there okay you get your adjustment where you want it right here and then you run it through that buckle there too once again i try to go through sideways because i had this pull off once upon a time on one pair so i'm going to grab that pull, pull that through there you go Nice and easy. Pull that through there, okay? Now looky there. You can take this. You can run it through here. Just like that, through that loop. Now on the 44, this the first pattern, these loops was further down here. But anyway, you can do this like this. I've seen a lot of people have them all looped up. Now, whether that's how it was done, I don't know. But anyway, it looks pretty and it ain't down here flopping around, okay? Let's do the next one. Let's go to right here. Same thing. Start that at an angle. <clears throat> Push it through. I'm gonna grab some pliers. Work that on through there. I guess you don't want it to come off. Get your adjustment how you want it. Adjust it about the same as you did the other side. Push it through this one, if you can. My goodness, that is tough. That's pretty tough. But we're gonna get her in there. And I think after this in here, I don't know if I'll take these back off, cause I'll have the video made. 
But anyway, right there, okay? Once again, run it through the retainer loop. That's what I call it. You can run this back up through here just to keep uh, the loose end from hanging down. Looks nice and pretty. Whether this is a regulation or not, I really don't know. I haven't seen the regulations. I'm sure there's somebody out there that, that knows. You can bet on that, okay? Now, if you're going to carry a pistol belt or uh, a dismounted uh, belt, then these will go to the belt. But if you're simply carrying this pack, this is where it differs from the 44 pack. Run this through here like that, okay? Now, a lot of people say you can't carry these packs without a belt. Well, I disagree. I've carried it many, many years without a belt. And the instructions on the pack says you can. So, and see that little D-ring right there? Clip that into that D-ring right there, okay? Just like that, okay? Same thing over here. If you're carrying it without the belt, which mainly... Most all the time you would be having a belt on. But I have seen pictures, they don't have a belt on. And like I said, uh, you know, a lot of people base stuff on pictures and that's great because they tell the tale. But I haven't seen every single picture of World War II. So it's hard to, uh, I'm just gonna tear that off there guys, sorry. But anyway, you run that through there. And then these right here, you run down here and you clip them there. And you run this around here and you clip it there too. Now, the way I always do it, now according to the instructions, you just simply would clip that one there too. Okay? And that's how you do it. There you go. You got the M1944 second pattern suspenders, or what a lot of you men like to call the 45 suspenders, attached to the M1945 combat pack. And this would be how it would be rigged if you did not wear the belt. Now, thanks for watching the Web Gear Review. If you like this kind of content, subscribe and, uh, Hit like if you would, helps build the channel. And also uh, share with your friends and uh, leave a comment if you got one. Thanks for watching the Web Gear Review.